Hi everyone and welcome to Fashion Bob's YouTube channel. In this video we're gonna talk about how to sew lace straps on a strapless dress. The lace that I'm using is black elastic lace. Um, we recommend using elastic lace when you're adding straps to a strapless dress because it's easier. You can add straps using inelastic lace, you just need to make sure that you measure everything very accurately and carefully because the length of the straps will be very important. This one is a little bit more forgiving. Um, so it's just easier to use. So I have the lace with the pin right here. I'm not going to stitch it on top of the dress because it's going to be too visible and instead I'm going to stitch it to the back of the dress. You can use a sewing machine for that but as you can see the hem is pretty thick as well as the fabric. Since my sewing machine is very basic it's not going to be possible to stitch through it. That's why I'm going to hand stitch the strap to the dress. When you're moving the lace to the back of the dress you want to make sure that its position stays the same. This is why I'm going to pin the lace right where it reaches the end of the dress and then remove the first pin and move the lace to the back of the dress. Now I'm going to align the pin with the end of the dress it's right here and then use that second pin to attach it to the dress. I'm going to use a white thread that matches the color of the dress to stitch the lace to the dress. I'm going to start from the back of the dress so that the end knot is not visible. You want to make sure that the stitches are as short as possible. This means that they will be very close one to the other. And then just keep stitching until you stitch the lace to the dress. Um, I would actually make a double stitch just to make sure that the lace is really attached um, to the dress and that it's not going to get torn. Um, you can do a double stitch or a triple stitch, stitch it as many times as you feel comfortable with um, and depending um, on the amount of time you want to spend doing it. But generally the more stitches and the shorter the stitches, um, the stronger the fabric is going to be. Once you're done sewing, just take the excess lace and trim it a little bit. You can fold that excess lace and stitch it to the dress. This will make your stitches even stronger. The strap is now stitched. You can see a little bit of the stitches right here. If you really want to make sure that they're completely not visible, you can use an applique like this lace butterfly and stitch it on top of the stitches. So I'm gonna use a black thread and just stitch the butterfly on top of them. You can use buttons or any kind of lace patches to hide the stitches. Another thing that you can do is actually stitch the lace to the lining of the dress. As you can see this dress is lined so instead of stitching the lace all the way through, you can just stitch it to the lining right here. If you do that, the stitches will not be visible on the front of the dress. So I have my white thread again and I'm just going to start stitching at the end of the lace. And again what you want to do is have really short stitches. That's going to be my first one. To make them stronger, I'm actually gonna go back, so this is where the stitch is coming out and I'm gonna stitch again be right behind that stitch. So this is my second stitch and here you can see again where the stitch is coming out and I'm stitching right behind it. Okay so again this is my third stitch right here and I'm gonna put the fourth one right behind it and then it's gonna come out on the other side of the third stitch. I'm gonna stitch the entire lace patch doing that. It will make it a lot stronger. There's a lot of different variations of straps that you can sew on a strapless dress. Now that we've covered the sewing part, you can check out this video and get some tips on how to sew the straps that you see in this picture. We hope this video was helpful. Check out our website fashionbulb.com for our newest clothing kits. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more do-it-yourself clothing decoration videos. Thanks for watching!